we have here is the Empyrean, which is the result of the of our last two years of work. This is the reason why we have been uh, so quiet after the release of the 99 Classics. Um, this is a flagship product that we developed together with Renato. And basically, we did everything the way um, we thought a, a high-end flagship uh, headphone should sound without making any compromise. It's not uh, conceived to become a, so much as a commercial product as uh, as much as a statement product. Uh, we used uh, CNC for the entire frame. Everything is CNC from aluminum, uh, carbon fiber for the headband. Uh, we paid a lot of attention to weight and comfort. And uh, uh, this is the first time we're basically showing it uh, in public. Luckily, people love it. Uh, I will first let uh, Pablo talk about the technology inside the headphone, which I think most people want to hear about, and then I'll go over some of the key uh, ergonomic features. Actually, actually, in this headphones, uh, for these headphones, we have specially developed um, MZ3, the first isodynamic hybrid array driver. Here you can see, uh, let's say, a demo of the diaphragm. Um, there are several unique and uh, very special features. The first one is the design of the trace pattern on the diaphragm. As you can see, it is continuous uh, trace, but it is split into two different shapes that has a different efficiency and reproduction of different frequencies. The spiral, um, the spiral one is more efficient in reproduction of medium and high frequencies, while the switchback um, trace is more efficient on reproduction of lower end frequencies. We did that for the purpose that uh, on the frequencies over 10 kilohertz, the length of the sound waves became shorter than the inner cavity of the ear pad and the sound field will start to getting diffused uh, and that results in that you will start to hear the reflected signals that are entering the ear canal with different time delays which thereby worsening the 3D imaging uh, and perception of the sound stage. What we did uh, to solve this problem, we moved the most efficient part on um, reproduction of the high frequencies lower down to put it directly on the entry into ear canal in order to increase the exposure of a direct non-reflected sound waves into the ear canal, which has a significant um, improve improvement in the perception of the 3d imaging and localization of the sound another um, advanced uh, feature is actually the material of the diaphragm um, which we have um, customly developed uh, for this driver it is very lightweight yet rigid um, we have achieved the structure with the upper frequency limit of 110 kilohertz while having a deep and extended um, bass response. Also, we have used a very advanced damping techniques that allowed us to decrease the total harmonic distortions to 0.1 of the percent in the whole, um, in the whole frequency range um, of the driver. Uh, another interesting feature is the isomagnetic ear padlock, which utilizes the stray fields that are generated by the magnet array in here you can see it allows very easily to exchange um, exchange the ear pads and at the same time it increases the efficiency of the driver by 12 percent these two uh, developments are patent pending designs and uh, we believe that they're like very advanced and fitting well into the flagship product also, we were targeting on the weight and efficiency. Uh, the driver has only 67 grams of the weight per side uh, while having a 100 dB sensitivity. Uh, that results together with a very effective mechanical design in under 400, under 400, grams, under 400 yes. grams of overall design. Actually, we're targeting into 390. Uh, I wanted to add something I, I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, this whole thing is not out of the blue. 
So before talking about anything else, I wanted to say Renaro actually has a 30 year experience in the planar magnetics. So yeah, that's true. this is not an experiment uh, based on nothing. Uh, they actually developed uh, drivers for many of the famous, uh, for some of the famous headphones that are in the market today. Uh, we cannot say for what brands, but they do. And this is the first time Renaro comes to the forefront and uh, through a collaboration, their name also becomes known. And uh, now back to the headphone itself. So as Paolo was saying, it's lightweight uh, structure. And on top of that, we made sure that the contact points with the, with the body are um, uh, in such way designed that they create a better uh, using experience through, through, through lower, through, through mo for more comfort. So for the headband, we have another patent pending uh, uh, invention, which is the, um, we call it, um, weight distribution wing and what it does basically it brings the soft leather headband closer in contact with your head uh, a regular leather headband would have a contact point on the top of your head while this uh, particular headband will uh, enlarge the contact surface all the way down here towards your temples and uh, the result is very simply the fact that you feel them as if they're lighter so at already 390 grams plus a big contact surface and uh, soft ear pads which sit at the proper angle result in an in a experience that you would have with much lighter headphone. Basically you can't really uh, uh, tell that it's a heavy planar or something like that. This is one of the lightest headphones, uh, full-size uh, planar magnetic headphones on the market. So far. Yeah, and I would say it's uh, one of the most comfortable, but I would let other people also try and compare. We have, for example, here a lineup of all the high-end stuff, and I keep switching back and forth, and I, I'm pretty confident that it's <laughs> one of the, the most comfortable. the feedback from the visitors are quite yeah. good. The point of, uh, of, of, of this is to, to create a, a proper listening experience, because as an audiophile, you don't listen for five minutes or ten minutes or half an hour, you listen for hours. At least that's how I see it, that's how I use headphones. So yeah, long listening time is important, I think.